How are you, sir? Is a rainbow. Yeah. Rainbow and Rambo. Said that he likes the colours. We are going to make him to sing now. <laughs> what time is it? It's Maulana time. <laughs> That's not Chico, is it? <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Sorry, I knew you. I thought I knew you. Of course. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice Thank you. I thought I knew you. <laughs> he can invite you for dinner, no oh, problem. Oh, thank you for making it so well at home. Thank you so much. You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> Cheers. See you later. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know from, from the television. He was terrible. Am I going to dinner with you then? You can't sing. And I saw him on telly showing his chest off. <laughs> I'm not understanding um, what's going on. Carry on. I'll be quiet now, but I didn't realise it was you, Chief. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you will not live this down, I promise you. He will not live it down. He wants to marry. Oh, okay, shall I go now, or will you tread on me on my way out? <laughs> I didn't realise. You're good, Maggie, you're good. Thank you're you so good, much. Maggie, you're really I'm going to stay here, and I will get him on the way out. Oh, wow. Allah, <laughs> Rashi. <laughs> no need for Sahib al Tawbah. Thank you. Thank you so much for making me welcome. Thank you. I really, I really heard, you know, this is so good today, even with you. Um, but it's been so, thank you so much. Thank you. And you. Welcome. <laughs> you after. <laughs> she has to tell you something special. <laughs> Allah, that sahaba came, so you lost your chance. نويت الأربعين، نويت الاعتكاف، نويت الخلوة، نويت العزنة، نويت الرياضة، نويت السلوك لله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد We are not going to make a long one but uh, short advice to myself and to you أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم الله سبحانه وتعالى doesn't like 
that we, we, we pretend to be something, but in reality we are not that one. <coughs> so, Allah likes people to be straightforward. And in this time, to be a straightforward, when you see all this huge people, many people around the world, all of them, they conspire against each other and they hate each other and you are alone asked to struggle and be on the right path is not easy. To come here and leave your work and to go visit Maulana, may Allah give him long life, is not, is not that simple, it's not that easy. That's why we are struggling between good and evil. And that's why Prophet وسلم, said in these last days, Al Qabidu ala dini al Qabidu ala al Jamr, the one who is holding his belief, believes, and he is holding his word, he doesn't, when he promises, he keeps his word, is like someone who is holding coal, burning coal. We have to keep our promises or else we are lying to ourselves and lying to the one who <coughs> we promised. Prophet ﷺ said, Al-Mu'minu idha wa'adha wafa. Mu'min is a mu'min. If he prof promise, he fulfill his promise. One time Prophet was going with Sahaba in a siyah, in a tour, outside the city, and one, two Sahabis came to him and said, Ya Rasulullah, we need to go to the next village and come back. And we, did, we do our things and come back to the same day. Can you wait for us? And Prophet said, yes. I will wait for you here. They went. Asr time, they were supposed to come. They didn't come. Maghrib time came, they didn't come. Prophet didn't go back to Medina. And Sahaba asked, he said, Al Mu'minu is a wa'ada wafa. Mu'min is when he promised, he has to keep his promise. They stayed overnight, next day they came. But Prophet waited. Didn't leave. So when we promise something, we have to fulfill it. We cannot step on our a promise, one of the awliya of golden chain, he said to his murid, go to the mountain, <coughs> make a journey there after Fajr, and wait for me, I'm coming. So the man took uh, food for one day and went to where his sheikh said to him to go. Climbed the mountain. It is a mountain that has a lot of trees, a green mountain. Went and, and this was in the area of 
Davistan and these areas. Uh, areas that you have nice trees and forest. He arrived noon, prayed Zuhur, said to eat, prayed Asr, there is a lot of water streams coming in, prayed Asr, waiting for the Sheikh, Sheikh didn't come. Maghrib time came, Sheikh didn't come. Aisha came, Sheikh didn't come. If we were ourselves, we say Sheikh didn't come, let us go back. Why we are waiting? He waited. He stayed overnight. Sheikh didn't come. Next day, Sheikh didn't come. Third day, and he never went back. He was eating from whether he has still some food. He said, my sheikh said, wait for me. Why I have to go down? One week, sheikh didn't come. One month, sheikh didn't come. Begin to be winter. And he's waiting doing zikr by himself, reading Holy Quran, reading the Lord of Khairat, making salawat on Prophet, and waiting for his sheikh to come. Look, when you promise, you keep your promise. Not like us, who, who is keeping his promise. Very few, yes. One month, two months, three months, winter came, trees, leaves falling down. He was eating from the fruit of the trees. Now there is nothing. Even leaves, there is nothing. So he began to eat. He made from wood, like a knife. He's cutting the tree and eating from inside the trunk, the or branches of the tree, this, the, what you call it, the pulp? Sack. Sack. Sap. Eat it from that sap because it's soft, I'm waiting. He is able to go down and go to the sheikh. At that time, it might take you some time to go down, but you can go down. Waiting. And not one of the murids came to say, Salaamu Alaikum. Do you need anything? Okay, you are waiting. Where is he? He's waiting. Okay, let us go to him, offer something. No. No one, they don't care. They care how to fill their pockets. <laughs> right? No way. He waiting. Then, this is was his food until one year passed. He is mean in complete khalwa. When one year passed, the day of the one year passed, a deer came, full of milk. Open a space for the man, and the man was uh, not fed, breast, 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 best friend, uh, breastfeeding. breastfeeding, deer breastfeeding. It's good, huh? You want? <laughs> And every day, Asr time, come the uh, morning, come, come the deer, Asr time, at Maghrib, come the deer, two times a day, suck milk, and the deer goes. Then he began to see all these small, small, different animals coming around him. When he's making zikr, they are listening. One year passed, wild animals began to come, listening to his zikr. See what Allah is giving him because he kept his promise, he didn't change. Seven years, he was not anymore lonely, he has all the animals in him. Wild animals became human beings, 
domestic animals became these ones. <laughs> they became domestic, they are not wild anymore. Wild are the human, they are fighting with each other, bloodshed, killing each other, not keeping their promise. Seven years passed, one day, Sheikh is coming. As he's coming up, he went down. He knew, because now he's, his eyes are open. And Sheikh looked at him and he said, are you stupid? <laughs> are you crazy? I didn't come. Might be I died. Might be I have a problem. Might be I forget. Might be. you didn't come come down and say to 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 see me? He said, Ya Sayyidi, if I came and broke my promise, first of all, you will not be here coming to me. And you will not be giving me my trust. Now you are coming by order of Prophet ﷺ to give me my amanat and my trust because I didn't break my promise with you. His reward was what? But after seven years to be given his trust from Prophet ﷺ. So that's why promise is important. If you promise to do something, like Sayyidina Hussein, when he promised to come and help the people of Baghdad against, against Yazid, they let him down, the people of Baghdad, and he, he, they, they, the Yazid killed him. Because they didn't support, they promised, they asked him, we, we promise you that all our children, all our wives, ourselves will be fida for you, will sacrifice ourselves for you, but come, help us. And when he arrived to Karbala, they ran away. But he didn't break, although they told him, don't go, after he gave his promise, his, his uh, relatives and uh, advisors in Medina, they said, don't go. He said, no, I gave a promise, I'm going even, I'm going to die. And he, was, he died. But he was in the 40s. How, how dare Yazid killing Sayyidina Hussein, the grandson of Prophet It's not easy. And they cut him into pieces. What? How they are, they are cruel. An animal, you don't do that. So, al-mu'min wa'ada wa'ada wa'fa mu'min, if he promise, he will keep his promise. He will not break his promise. We made a promise with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we will not lie, we will not steal, we will not do this, we will not do that. But we came to dunya and we are doing everything. Me and everyone else. We ask forgiveness. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us. Amen. And we hope that inshallah with the shafa of Prophet and we ask Sayyidi Ya Rasulullah not to be taking his face away, for, away from us. And to our Shaykh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep him happy with us. With all the rumors, that false rumors that go to him from some special people, you know them. Those who they are uh, anti-carry. <laughs> <laughs> These people are like a murai. Murai is he show you something, but he in his heart is something else. 
he wants to show that he is the best. That his clothes are clean. He helped the Ummah. He giving them a place to stay. <laughs> Give them a place to stay. Feed them with little bit soup and making himself Tarzan on that place. <laughs> that I am the king of the jungle. <laughs> An example. So, also us, we are not saying we are clean from that. We say something, but in the hidden is something else. Not munafik. Munafik is different. Murai is the one he, is, he, he wants to show, show off. That he can do everything. And in reality, he's stealing everything. Yazhat fil mubahat, sawbuhu nazif, his clothes are clean, but his heart is dirty, kalbuhu najis. He doesn't like anything good for anyone. He wants everything for himself. Doesn't care for his wife, for his children. He cares only for himself. How to make money, <clears throat> um, how to make money even if he wants to cheat on his wife, he will do that in order to make money. He doesn't care except for money. For dunya means. I know people, I'm not going to expose them, but I know people <clears throat> that they go to the council, they have homes, but they go to the council, they rent their wives, but they are not, it's a, it's not a registered wife, according to government papers, but it is between him and her on Islamic way. She gets money for the room that she is renting from him in his house, and he doesn't give her the money that the council gives, he put in his pocket. And the wife complaining, and other wife complaining, and other wife complaining, and every lady has a problem with her husband. I never saw a lady happy with her husband, and I ever saw a husband happy with his lady. Some might be, but not everyone. Correct? This is what we are seeing. So Murai is his clothes clean. He likes to see him wearing nice clothes, trimming the beard, beard, very nice clothes, anti-carry clothes. <laughs> they spray it. Nice clothes, but the heart is nice, dirty, dirty heart. وَيَأْكُلُ بِدِينِهِ He used his religion and his position to eat. To eat from people. Give me, give me, give me. I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this. وَلَا يَتَوَرَّعْ جُمْلَةً أَنْ يَأْكُلَ الْحَرَامَ الصَّرِيحِ And he doesn't care to eat every forbidden even. To reach his Goal. He hide him himself from uh, pure people or sheep. They don't know anything. Everything. Maulana said this. Maulana said that. Maulana said this. Maulana said that. People they believe. Uh -huh. When you when you say Maulana said this, you are not going to lie on Maulana Shia. Maulana said that, you accept. So they use religion to eat. If they are preaching and people give gifts, it's okay. But if, 
if uh, they are trying to make tijara trade with religion, Prophet prohibited for reciter of Quran to take money on one day recite. Because you cannot sell the Holy Quran. And even now in library, in bookstores, they sell the Holy Quran. It's not allowed. You cannot sell a book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can give it as a gift. It's okay. Yahibu Wahab. He give you like grant. I don't want money. When someone asks for Quran, okay. You take, this is free. The man, if he wants, that's why they ask how much kem adesh wahbu. Kem, how much the grant of this, how much you. Yani it's a mustalah for Arabic. It's a equation in Arabic that you use in order to be not saying how much cost, how much I have to pay for you for the Quran. You cannot sell the Quran. So whatever he wants to give, let him give. Allah will give you from another book or bookstore or anything you sell. Yukfa amruhu ala al-awam. Normal people, they don't know him, his, uh, his heart. They don't know what is inside of, uh, of showing off that he wa only showing off. But, wala yukfa ala al-khawas. But those who can look at heart, they know what he's doing. And we left them in their ghil, in their, in their, in their losting their ways. We leave them losing their way, Allah said, not caring for them, because they are not the people who to care for. Al-Murai, the one who is someone who show off, he is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him hard time in the day of punishment, in the day of judgment. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us away from showing off as the ayah in the holy verse of Surah Al-Kahf when it says Kul innama ana basharun mithlukum yuha ilayya annama ilahukum ilahu wahid faman kana yarju liqa'a rabbihi falyamal amalan salihan wa la yushrik bi'ibadati rabbihi ahada what does that mean? translate Kul innama ana basharun mithlukum you highlight and say, I am only a human being like you, Prophet is saying. Who, for one can I urge the car of he who wants to, to reach to see his Lord and to be, inshallah, in the day of judgment with his Lord. Let him do something good. Wala yushrik the ibadati rabbihi. Don't, must, he must not have a partner, must not say that Allah has a partner, Yushrik, means partner up, partner up with his Lord. He has to do Amal Salih, فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا And he must not make shirk, make partners, Ma Allah with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anyone else through his worshipness. That verse when you read it means don't make shirk. But that verse has been revealed on Prophet because there was one person in the time of Prophet he was making lot of shirk. How his shirk was? He does something and he say, I did something, I gave this one this amount of money. 
I gave some, I did something, I hosted this one. I gave food this one. No, it's Allah. This is shirk, even shirk al khafi, hidden shirk. And all of us, we are falling in this shirk today. And that ayah came in Prophet Wasallam to say, don't be murai. This is the meaning of murai. Don't, uh, don't me make showing that you are good. I am giving, you are rich, I am giving, I am giving, I am doing, I am saying, I am... No. Leave it to Allah because Allah is the one who gave you the good. You didn't do good. Allah did good for you. So it was a very strong message that Prophet gave to people by Allah revealing the, through the Holy Quran. Say to them they must not be partner to me as if they are the one feeding. No, I am moving his hand to give that one money or that one food. It's not him. So don't put anyone there. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiveness and we ask him to take away from us these uh, nawakis deficits or this uh, uh, shortcoming and we are say astaghfirullah 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 al azim alladhi la ilaha illa huwa al hayy al qayyum wa atubu ilayhi min kulli dhanbi wa ma'siyati min kulli ma yukhalif din al islam kulli ma yukhalif al sharia min kulli ma yukhalif al tariqa min kulli ma yukhalif al haqiqa min kulli ma yukhalif al azima من كل ما يخالف المعرفة يا أرحم الراحمين أودعنا هذه كلمتي شهادتين والاستغفار عندك يا سيدي يا رسول الله سامحنا يا سيدي يا رسول الله يا رب يا الله يا حبيبك المصطفى ورسولك المرتضى أن تغفر لنا ذنوبنا ظاهرا وباطنا معنا أبدا أزلا أبدا يا رب يا الله أستغفر الله العظيم وأتوب إليه أستغفر الله العظيم وأتوب إليه أستغفر الله العظيم وأتوب إليه أدعنا هذه كلمتين الاستغفار والشهادة أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله عندك يا سيدي يا رسول الله وعندكم يا أولياء الله هم لنا وليعة عندكم يوم القيامة يا من أرسلكم الله تعالى رحمة للعالمين ربنا تقبل منا واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا واهدنا الى الحق ولا تلك المستقيم وانصرنا على انفسنا يا رب يا الله اللهم انصرنا على نفسنا الشيطانيه يا رب يا الله اللهم نور قلوبنا يا رب نور الايمان والاسلام والاحسان بحرمه حبيبك المصطفى وحرمه سر سوره الفاتحه سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون سلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتح شيكو يا تيك ذس مايك اند وان سونج وات ذا ليدي از ويتنج شيكو Sultan al Awliya, Saint of Saints, the jewel in the crown, reviver of the fame. He knows the secret as revealed by the Prophet. Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam You are still rubbish I was blind but now I can see From his oceans of mercy Open your heart and you will see Love, love, love is what he is more love.
I need you to understand He's my ego slayer And when the devil comes calling I only need to say a prayer Allah's miracles are his prophets and saints And when I'm in trouble I say mad and moan I was blind but now I can see from his oceans of mercy Open your heart and you will see Love, love, love is what he is Molana 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 Sheikh Hisham And that is better big smile, <laughs> swimming in the mercy ocean, humbled at your feet, a human being with a heart and a godly seat. Ya Sayyidi Ya Mawlana, where are the dust beneath your feet? Mawlana, Allah Akbar. Together, always. We are people. What else? Chico time. <laughs> Chico, I will see you outside. <laughs> Take care. Welcome. Hey, no, I need you for a minute. <laughs> I mean, I have no, I have because I'm not sure you can't do more than a minute. We are community. Oh, Thank you very much for making me welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Chico time! I'll do a slow version of it, maybe. I'll do an acoustic one. Sometimes it feels so good. I can't remember back My inner clock is ticking And the back beat drives me mad It's erotic, exotic, hypnotic That's for sure, whoa. I put a smile on your face And take you to a place like you never been before I said, get up, let it all hang out Jump up, go scream and shout Don't you realize it's out of time Everybody say, what time is it? It's no longer time. It's no longer time. <laughs> Because, because you did that for people and they are happy, inshallah, this year is going to flourish. Now shower time. <laughs> <laughs> I have to speak with you, sir. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. This is for, for this mosque here. It's the Sheikh's picture, but we haven't framed it yet. So can you show it to me? Yeah. Allah. Very nice, very nice. Can frame it and put it on that wall there. Yeah, yeah, no problem. They can, uh, Sulaiman, you can raise that, the watch high, or you can, no, the watch higher and you can put it there. Yes, I Because this side, Kabla, we cannot. Yes, I Or you can put it outside, anyone is coming on the stairs can see it. Yeah, inshallah. Yeah. You know, in every landing of the stairs, on the wall, we can put different pictures. Uh, 
contact Eftikhar, he has very nice pictures. Uh, you have very nice pictures. Give them, give them the, put it on a CD, a digital, and they can do some pictures here. So I, I, I need, I will leave you with uh, Chico for, uh, never mind, 10 minutes you can speak. I need to see something of the plans. Okay, and then I call you. Sure. So come sit here. <laughs> he, mashallah, sent me his book, a new book, and I was looking into it. Very nice book. I, I, uh, what you say? I recommend it for everyone to buy it. It's very spiritual book, and lot of things that he was inspired with, and experiences. Uh, really, it's uh, it's a very uh, nice, uh, encouraging book to f for spirituality. Mm -hmm. So, summary, little bit. You can speak like 10 minutes and 15 minutes. I will see with them, and then I call you. Okay, come sit here. <coughs> here is free. This is why we don't fight because this is a free chair. <laughs> you sit. It's okay.